going on everybody? Car Guy V8 here with another video, and today I'm going to be comparing 64cc Vortec heads to 76cc Smog Era slash Crate engine heads. And this is a direct comparison because I've ran two different engines back to back in my 1979 GMC Sierra, and it's a short wheelbase truck and is estimated to be about 4,000 pounds. So let's take a look at the two setups that I'm comparing. Taking a look at this chart, you can see that the engine on the left is my Vortec headed 383 stroker, and the engine on the right is the 357 small block with 76cc 369 heads. Now the 369 heads are a Mexican casting. They come from a crate engine, and they're very similar to the old 882 heads. They are a heavy duty casting, and the 624 heads, you know, are just a lighter casting of the 882 heads. So basically, this is a modern 882 head casting, and the 383 does have a longer stroke, so the torque numbers will be higher with this engine, but using the Vortec heads, the 5500 RPM power output is not going to be that different from a just regular stroke 350 small block, so the 383 has flat top pistons, and so does the 357. 383 is 10 to 1 compression, the 357 is 8.6 to 1, the 76cc heads hurt that a good bit. Both have a mild unknown cam. I'm not sure because I did not build the bottom end of either of these engines, but the cams are pretty mild and they're torquey cams. Now the 383 has an RPM air gap intake, which is perfect for it. The 357, if you remember, this was a budget-built engine that I built on the channel, and the Wii N single plane, while it is the wrong intake for it, I got it off of trade for some Fox body parts, but it is the wrong intake, but with the stall converter I'm using, you don't notice any torque loss. In fact, it's actually surprisingly torquey. The estimated horsepower? Let's watch and find out, and I'll estimate later in this video. Now let's take a look at the vehicle that I put both of these engine setups in. It is a 1979 GMC Sierra short wheelbase truck. As you can see, I used a Turbo 400 with the same 2500 stall converter in both of them. It's got a factory 307 rear gear ratio in a 12 bolt. Now the only thing that I actually changed between these two setups was the long tube headers and the exhaust. Uh, the mufflers. I used one and five eighths inch long tube headman headers with some Flowmaster Super 44s on the 383 and on the 70 or excuse me on the 357 small block I used one and a half inch long tubes because I knew it wasn't going to make as much power and I used purple horny collector mufflers on it. No extra accessories were used and these tests, all I had was an alternator, water pump, and crank pulley. So just the three necessary ones. No power steering at this time. So now I'm going to talk about what it was actually like to drive the truck with both of these setups. And then I'm going to show some video clips of some full throttle accelerations with both engines. So first off, let's start off with the 357 small block. The first thing I noticed when driving the truck with the 357 small block is how much low end torque it makes. Now keep in mind, the torque converter is the same through both setups, but this 357 makes considerably less power than the, than the Vortec headed setup. So the torque converter acts quite a bit smaller with this setup. It doesn't slip as much. So it gives you the illusion that you've got more low end torque and it actually makes it more usable as a truck. You could easily put a trailer hitch on it and tow a trailer with this setup. You could throw stuff in the back and it is a very usable engine now. It's just a basic 70s, 80s hot rod build with a basic stock set of heads, you know, uh, cam, intake, headers, all that stuff. And it makes it a very fun little setup. Now my, my average of three zero to 60 tests came out to 8.1 seconds. So it average 8.1 seconds, zero to 60, and that's through the 307 rear end and the 248 turbo 400 first gear ratio. So I'm confident in saying this setup makes 250 horsepower, which is about what a stock Vortec headed truck made. And 
comparing it with the old uh, short wheelbase 90, you know, 96, 97 Silverados. They are a little faster in the zero to 60, but they have the better 4L60E first gear and usually a better rear end ratio. So I'm confident in saying this setup makes 250 horsepower. So now let's talk about the Vortec headed 383 stroker. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the torque converter acts a little bigger with this setup, but the second you're past that initial little bit of slippage and get into the throttle, this thing makes gobs of mid-range torque, tons of it, tire shredding torque. I can roast my one right rear tire at will with this engine. And it makes good power too, all the way up to 5,500 RPM. I have revved it to six, but at 55, it's pretty much done making power. So it just carries on to six. I decided I'm not gonna put any excess wear on it whenever it really doesn't make that much difference. So 5,500 is the good um, rev limit on this engine. And using my zero to 60 app, I averaged 5.9 seconds on three runs. And the app's probably not the most accurate because it's just an iPhone app based on GPS. But the important thing is both engines were tested with the same app, so they're accurate to each other, if that makes sense. And so using the uh, zero to 60 and horsepower calculators you can find on Google, this engine should make right at about 350 horsepower, which I agree with that. And you may say that some of that is due to the extra cubic inches of the 383, which if you get into the math, this engine only has 7% more cubic inches than the 357. So if you wanna take 7% of the power away from that to see what a regular 350 would do, you can do that if you want. But I don't think the 383 is making that much more power at the top than a regular 350 torque. Yes, it's making more. I can feel it whenever you get in the throttle. But horsepower, I don't think it has too much of an effect on that, at least with this engine, because it's not being revved out high or anything, just 5,500 RPM. But now let's take a look at some of the videos that I took of these two setups, and you decide for yourself, is it worth it to go with the Vortec heads or just stay with 76cc? Because the 76cc, they are slower, as you see, and make less power, but it is a lot of fun. Just because you're making less horsepower doesn't mean you can't have fun. This was in like a lot Nova or Camaro, and you had, you know, 410 gears or 373s and the same setup that I've got in the truck. It would be a blast. It's fun in the truck. It's just, it'd be even more fun in a lightweight car. So guys, let's check out these last few scenes and you be the judge. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I hope you enjoyed this video.